And there you have it guys, the finished product and I think it looks pretty pretty damn cool. Hello beautiful and welcome back to a new devlog episode. Last time I kickstarted this project and the response I got from you guys was uh, quite incredible, like I was really really uh, sur surprised, like, but in a, in a pleasant way. I didn't expect so many people to be excited for this project, just as I am. And so, yeah, today we're going to do some more stuff. And to start this video off, uh, I'm gonna show you what I did off camera, uh, because I promised you that I'm going to finish that uh, character selection menu at the beginning. And so I did, plus I added some more extra stuff, which I think you're gonna, you're gonna like. But before I do any of that, I want you guys to leave a like on this video and support the channel, subscribe if you're not subscribed, ring that bell, enable the notifications and if you feel like it, support me on Patreon, I would appreciate that. So before I dive deep into the changes, uh, I want to explain a little bit what this uh, game mode is going to be all about. So it's going to be an MMORPG sort of game and the player will be able to choose between four different classes and those classes will be dictated directly by the weapon that the player has equipped on him and there will be four weapons those are the deagle, the shotgun, the rifle and melee weapons like the baseball bat or the katana and whatever and so the player will only be able to to have equipped one of those weapons at a time you will not be able to scroll and choose whatever you want you will have to go inside an inventory and uh, place the weapon on your character so that you can use it so yeah this is what the game is all about you will raise your level by killing mobs I'm gonna add mobs it's gonna be it's gonna be a hustle to create that but I'm gonna do it and you're gonna have an inventory system experience all that jazz that uh, you guys might be accustomed from MMOs and if I were to summarize it in a few words I guess I, I would call it um, MMO with cowboys or something like that. that. That's gonna be the main style of the game. Anyway, enough talking. Now let me show you what I've been up to off camera. So as you can see, the first thing I did uh, was to remove the, uh, the spawn selection list and I also enlarged the, the, skin, the skin preview a little bit because before it was, it was uh, on the small side and some players might might have missed it but now all you can do here is change your skin just click the arrows and you select uh, whichever skin you like then press press finish and get spawned that's it that's how it works after that i wanted to add a little bit more style to the login uh, i guess animation and so i added this uh, gta 5 camera effect where the the camera approaches the player from the sky and then when it finishes it uh, it lets you control the character i think that's that's really 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 cool but let me know what you think i personally think it's a cool implementation and it adds a little bit more character to the to the game and if you have a keen eye you probably noticed this already and you're asking yourself what's up with it and i'm talking about the radar the minimap down in the corner and I know it looks different, doesn't it? <laughs> and the reason for that is that I experimented with some uh, with a gang zone editor, and I covered the entire map with gang zones. And now you you you're not able to see the the original map. And I did that because the original map it looked way too modern, and it didn't really fit the theme that I have in mind for this game. And so yeah, I thought I, I would try something crazy and I just did that. <laughs> I think it looks okay, it looks alright, I could definitely uh, improve on it a little bit more. Let me actually show you how, how it works. So this is the editor that I've been using, uh, which you can find on dev.printsite.com, uh, which is also the site that I use to 
preview objects when I create maps and it's quite an amazing tool I use it uh, quite a bit and in this time lapse I'm showing you how I write some something on the map uh, which then later I'm going to expo export and import into the game uh, while the server running because I, I wrote a little bit of a script which lets me do that uh, which is you know easy if you want to update the map while the the server is running and you don't wanna restart and recompile and do all that stuff you just paste the the export code into a file in script files and then type a command and that's it just as easy as that good now that i got all that stuff out of the way i think it's time we head into what must be done today and so the first thing i did was to come up with a name for the server because the next thing I'm planning to create, uh, it's related to that and I think it's good to have a, a name established from the beginning so that you can follow the same style and the same path. And so this took me quite a while actually. I, I really had to scratch my head. At some point I tried looking up at uh, other servers and to see what kind of names they got and boy did I make a great mistake there. <laughs> I went on this site and if you look at the servers, like 99% of them uh, include a roleplay word in their title, in their name. That's just to show how unoriginal the, the all the servers are nowadays, like just by looking at their names, like there are so little servers that have something original going on. But yeah, the names, uh, I'm sorry guys, but they suck. And so I found this site, it's called, uh, I don't remember what it's called, but I'm gonna leave a link on the screen right now. And it basically generates fantasy names for you. You just have to input the word and then it combines it with something else. And I stumbled across Desert Land. And I wanted something short. And I think this this kind of fits the the theme a little bit, but I'm not a hundred percent set on it. Like it might it might change in the future. But if you guys want to recommend any other name, you're free to do so down in the comments. Like I, I'd really appreciate it if someone gives me like a really creative name that involves uh, desert, heat, uh, wilderness, guns, that kind of stuff. Like. Uh, not all of them, in, but like one or two of, of those uh, combine into a, into a nice title. Nice! And now that I found the name, I can finally start uh, actually doing something creative. And the first thing that I wanted to do today was a radar cover, which is displayed when you are in the register or login process. I don't know why, I just wanted to do it. I didn't like the idea of the radar showing up while while you are uh, registering or logging in and so I started making this this circular thing not really f that complicated it was easy to make I made it in like 10 minutes or so and I think it turned out really well I added those guns to let you know what you what you're getting into kind of uh, plus some statistics it, it shows you how many accounts are created and it also shows the version of the, the game mode and in the end I think it turned out really really well. And this is the final product and I hope you guys like it as much as I do. Well that was too easy wasn't it? So to compensate for that I decided I'm going to do something a little bit more difficult. And that is I'm going to create a GUI for the game, a user interface, a hood if you like. And my idea was uh, to create a XP bar, um, obviously to sh display your experience that you've accumulated so far, and hunger bar because I want to implement a, a hunger system. Also a level indicator, uh, which is going to show you what uh, what your level currently is. And so that's what I'm currently doing in this time lapse.
And this is the final product and I think it turned out fantastic. But this is the easy part, now it's time to implement them and actually make them functional. And for the leveling, for the XP bar system and leveling, uh, I guess you could say uh, it wasn't that difficult uh, because I already had an XP bar script uh, in another game mode and I, all I had to do is to borrow that and reuse it. And so I implemented some commands uh, which lets you edit your XP levels and your level as well. And yeah, it turned out fantastic, it works well, uh, no problem here. <laughs> Obviously I'll probably build more upon this idea later in the development, but for now I think it works, it works nice. And the last thing on our list is the uh, hunger system and the HP regeneration system uh, which I thought I'm going to make something similar to Minecraft uh, in which you have uh, a separate bar for hunger and a separate bar for health obviously and when you lose health the hunger bar depletes and the HP bar increases and that's how you regenerate HP. This one took me a little bit longer to make because uh, I had to make it from scratch, I never done something like this before. But it was easy, it wasn't that difficult and this is how it actually works. When you get damage the script detects and if the hunger bar is uh, filled with something your H HP will start regening and the hunger bar will start decreasing and here is the script for it it wasn't really that complicated it's just a, a player timer and yeah it's it's quite simple but if you guys have any optimization tips let me know down in the comments i would love to hear some ideas and unfortunately this is all i had time for in this video i know it doesn't look like much uh, but trust me, it, it really took me a few hours to get all this stuff done. Uh, but let me promise you something, in the next video I'm gonna do something a lot more complicated. I wanna do the inventory system. And that's gonna be a bitch and a half to create, just the text drops for it. And I wanna also make it uh, optimized. Last time I did an inventory system it was laggy as shit so yeah that's uh that's gonna be a challenge for me in the next one so yeah i guess this is it for the video uh don't forget to leave a like subscribe comment also leave me suggestions for the server name because uh, i'm not a hundred percent set on this name yet maybe you, you can lend me a helping hand that would be i would be grateful for that i, I would appreciate it so yeah guys uh i'm not gonna prolong it anymore because this video it's already long enough and I guess I'm gonna see you in the next video which is going to be I, I have no idea when 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 I feel like it.